Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to update your Nexus 6P or a matter of fact any Nexus device from the older Android security patch for example on the 6P here. Uh, sorry there's a helicopter going by. So we have the MMB29P which is our January update uh, security patch level. So right now, well this month is February and the new patch has come out. So I'll be showing you how to upgrade this to MMB29Q uh, without losing root or data. So mainly without losing data while you're rooted. So as you can see here, um, I do have SuperSU installed and my phone is rooted. So I'll need to uh, keep all that stuff and I'll show you how to do it uh, right now. So set your phone aside, we won't be needing that uh, right now. So uh, you'll need a unarchiving tool, so I'll be using WinRAR here. Uh, any version will do, but if you want, uh, you just want to download either a beta up there or one for your language down here, uh, English or whichever one you want uh, over here or up here, the beta one. Um, actually, yeah, any of those. It is a kind of like a trial thing, but you can keep using it after it's 60 or 90 evaluate, 90 day evaluation time. Uh, next off, you'll need the Google USB drivers if you haven't installed that already. Uh, you might be lucky, it might have been installed automatically, but you should have these installed, um, or your phone should already have its drivers configured from the last time you decide to root your phone. So as long as you've already rooted it before, uh, or unlocked the bootloader, uh, you won't need to do all this. Next up we have our Android Tools folder. You most likely will have this, but if not, uh, this will be down in the More Info. So go ahead and download that. Uh, if you need it. Now, now this is where we need to download our factory images. So head over, you can navigate to the Angular section on the side here in case this link doesn't work properly for you. And you can see down here we have the MMB29Q. Just tap on that link or click on it and just save it to a, uh, a folder that we're going to make which is uh, our Android folder. Let me just bring that up for you guys. So uh, make a new folder called Android anywhere you like. Mine's on my E drive and you're just going to extract those files to the E drive here. Our adb.exe, our two DLLs, and then our fastboot file right there. And we're going to save our stock file uh, in the same place as our, um, in our Android folder. So go back to this page, hit download or the li download link, navigate to wherever it is. It's gonna be an Android and just hit save. Oh, that was pretty bad, okay. So sorry, just navigate to wherever that Android folder is um, that I've just shown off. So you'll have to create that and extract the platform tools folder into the Android folder. And just hit save. And let that download. It is about uh, almost a gigabyte. And um, while that's downloading, you'll also need the latest um, super user, uh, super SU beta, which uh, we'll scroll down to the third post here, the experimental um, automation part. So this will be systemless root, and unfortunately, um, the Safety Net API has caught up with the systemless root, and you will not well, you will not be able to use Android Pay um, if you decide to root your device, or in fact modify, or we'll just say root your device. So we're going to be using this um, the latest one, two six seven. I already have that on my phone, but I'm just going to download it, and of course you should save it to our Android folder. It doesn't really matter just anywhere that you like. So click on this uh, download the beta thing here. And just save it to our Android folder, which it is. Just hit save. And you're just gonna wait for that to finish. So one is, once everything is finished, uh, I'll be back. Alrighty, so everything is finished downloading. Um, I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit. And you'll see, uh, please ignore those folders up here. Uh, those are for my own organizational ones, so I can keep on using this folder for future videos. Um, so you, you will have this adb.exe our two DLLs here, the Win APIs. Um, we have our stock image that we downloaded, so in this case our 29Q for our February security update. Uh, Fastboot.exe, uh, uh, USB drivers if you need them, and of course uh, the SuperSU that we're gonna copy to our phone and flash. So right now, we're going to get started. So um, open up your archive here, the stock, uh, the factory image. So you open it up, it uh, might take a while because uh, of its large size and nature. I'm going to give it a couple seconds for it to open up. 
So uh, through this way you can also install Expose, the Exposed framework, uh, at the same time. So if you already have Exposed like I do, uh, just go ahead and I'll explain when I go on. You'll be flashing the Exposed um, zip file thing. So that's cool. We're going to extract this folder. So just drag this folder outside here. Uh, just drag it there. And you'll see it'll start extracting all the files for here, uh, which include our image zip, our bootloader image, and our radio image. Uh, shouldn't take too long. It's already halfway there. Uh, so we just, just drag it out and extract it to our Android folder. Alrighty, so now it's done. Uh, it's going to copy it from its temporary directory to the to the drive here. Uh, shouldn't take too long. Alrighty, so we're almost done here. Now finished. I'm going to open up that folder. So our angler-mmb29q folder. Uh, you can close this uh, WinRAR window here. Just double click on that icon. Um, now we're going to open up the image.zip and we're just going to drag out all of these, all the images just drag them out now this will take some time as well so give this a couple minutes uh, to extract everything and you should have all the images in the folder uh, after it's done Alrighty, so as you can see we've copied out um, or extracted all of our images so you can go ahead and close this uh, WinRAR window here uh, double click and you should see by now if we have it all organized from A to Z we have our boot uh, our boot image, our bootloader image the cache the um, radio the recovery the system user data and vendor images all along there. Uh, you can also close the um, web browser if you haven't already and now we're going to press Control N to make a new window of the same one and just snap that to the side and thanks to Windows 10's handiness uh, we'll do that to the left side as well and on one of the panes here, I'm going to go back on the left side i just go back one and so you can see your ADB EXEs and your Fastboot uh, EXE and what, um, what you want to do is hold shift and right click anywhere on the folder, oh, that's a bad example shift and right click and then hit open command window here and it'll open you a nice uh, CMD window I'm going to snap that to the side as well uh, you won't be needing this folder here the one with the ADB EXEs so you can actually just uh, close that to save some space and I'm going to snap that to the side just like that actually I probably won't Makes it hard to um, hard to read. Okay, so try position this side by side. Um, it's hard to have a viewfinder, but try doing it side by side so uh, so you can um, fully see uh, this folder with all your images and of course the command prompt window. So I want to push this off to the side a little bit so I can zoom in and show you guys uh, what to type actually. Okay, so hopefully you can see everything properly now. And we shall start the flashing process, but not, oops, I should stop doing that. Not until we have finished uh, with our phone. So go ahead and grab your phone out and power off the device. You also, at this point, want your USB-A to USB-C ca um, cable. And once it's off, you want to hold the power button and volume down together. Uh, like this, just hold it until you see the Android bootloader screen which uh, you should be all familiar with don't mind that, and it should look like that so, and once that's in, plug one end to your phone and the other end into your computer put a side USB here like that you should hear a ding on your computer and we can check that our phone is indeed in the fast boot mode. I can have some of it on the screen. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so you can check if it's on a uh, fast boot mode here. Actually, that dims the screen. Okay. So sorry. You can check if it's in uh, probably detected in fast boot mode, of course, um, by typing in by typing in fast boot space 
um, devices with an S. I'll zoom back in now, like that. So type in again uh, fast boot uh, devices, B I C S, and you should see the you should see your phone's serial number uh, pop up there. So we know our device is connected. So first off, we're going to flash the um, the bootloader. So type in fast boot flash no, with a T space flash space bootloader space, and then drag in that bootloader angle angler. 2045 image, just like that, onto the command prompt, and then hit enter, and that'll flash it. So we want to reboot into the new bootloader, so type in fastboot space, space reboot dash bootloader, and hit enter. You'll see our phone boot back into the Android screen, uh, no worries. Um, next off, we're going to flash the radio, so go ahead and type in fastboot space, flash, space, Radio space, and of course, drag in the uh, Radio Angler Angler 2.50 image and hit enter. And that should finish uh, quite soon. Yep. Now we're going to reboot the bootloader again. Now, a cool thing instead of retyping everything, uh, press the up arrow key on your keyboard uh, twice so to get back to the bootloader command or reboot bootloader command and just hit enter, and it'll do it for you. Okay, so next, once our devices pop back up, we're going to start by flashing the boot image. So type in fast boot, uh, flash, space flash, boot, space, and then drag in that boot image right there. Uh, if you are using a custom kernel, um, it's best to check if you have the latest, uh, to download the latest one and copy it to your device uh, beforehand or when you're in recovery, a TWRP. Uh, all stock kernel is fine. I'm just going to use the stock one for now because uh, the custom one I had, um, I didn't have anything special with it. So go ahead and flash the stock boot image. Uh, if not, uh, you can flash your custom kernel uh, when we're inside TWRP. But you can flash the boot image anyway. Uh, next off, we're going to um, actually uh, erase the cache. So type in fast boot, erase, space, cache. Hit enter, and that'll raise the cache. Next, we're going to uh, we're not going to flash the recovery, and so uh, what's next is the system. So we're going to fastboot. Uh, type in fastboot space flash space system space, and then drag in the system image onto the command window. Hit enter. Uh, the system image is quite big; it's almost a gigabyte in size. So this will take time, as it will kind of send bits and pieces to your phone. And kind of segments um, should take around, I reckon, a, around a minute. So I'll leave that there, and we'll see the progress. I'll probably fast forward until it's finished. Okay, so now it's finished. Um, we are now going to uh, because we want to keep the. Uh, all the user data that we have on our phone, such as our images and photos and all that, as we don't want to erase anything. Uh, don't touch that super u uh, super data image, no user data, sorry, and we're not going to erase it. And the last thing we're going to flash is the latest vendor image. Uh, so we're going to type in fastboot uh, space flash space vendor vendor, and then dragging that vendor image just like that, and then hit enter. And that'll quickly send the uh, vendor image to be flashed. Alrighty, so now we're done with flashing all the images. We're going to get back to the rooting part, in fact. So go back to our folder with all the images there from the side and just click on the Android thing. Android there in the, um, I don't even know what to call it, the address bar, yes. Uh, so we're back to this folder. So you can see where we have our latest uh, super user 2.67. Uh, zip there, and of course, if you need exposed, uh, the exposed framework back there, uh, it should already be on your device, but if not, uh, you can reboot into TWRP by pressing down, and make sure uh, recovery mode is there, is selected, and then hit the power button, and that'll boot you straight into um, TWRP. So you can then copy files there through MTP, or in fact, uh, we can just start flashing. But I'll show you um, 
what it should look like when you're copying the latest Super SU beta onto your phone. So now we're in TWRP, we're going to enter our pattern here or passcode or password to decrypt our data partition. Um, if you want to keep the system read only, which uh, I would say is kind of pointless now unless you don't intend on rooting it, um, but we are. So we're going, we can, I'm going to swipe to allow modifications and right now our phone should be detected on the computer. So if we press Control N again, um, head over to this PC, and then Nexus 6P, internal storage. I put everything in uh, ROMs, I think, this one. Uh, it's a little bit messy, don't worry. Just copy it to your uh, phone. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll just copy it to the uh, base, uh, sorry, yeah, the base of the internal storage. So just drag it onto the other uh, menu bar at the top here, uh, just so it copies it to the root of the directory instead of uh, some random folder that you accidentally dropped it on. Um, now it's uh, on the base here. Scroll down, there it is. And I have my exposed files here in the ROMs folder, which I previously had for uh, when I was on the other ROM. So uh, it's your choice if you want to flash exposed. If you already have it, you probably have it on your device already. So you probably want to flash that, uh, which is what I'll be doing. But if you're just keen on rooting, um, just grab the latest Super SU and copy it, just like I did, as you can see here. And now we'll get to the flashing process. So, uh, wake up your phone again, swipe to unlock. Uh, we're just going to tap on install. I'm going to go up one level, so it's on the SD card. So if you don't see, if you're in a folder before, uh, navigate to wherever you saved your or copied your Super SU 2.67 at the time of recording. Tap on that. I hit swipe to install. So this is going to automatically um, patch your boot image, so you don't have to do it your you don't have to download a modified one. Uh, it makes it easier. I really like this. So it's going to run all its scripts and all that. And also, do not let TWRP install TWR. I mean, I mean, flash uh, Super SU, as that will probably break something. So uh, you can go ahead and wipe cache if you want to, but I'm going to now install the. Or flash the exposed framework here that I have previously saved. Uh, if you're not using exposed, don't worry about this. This is just a optional extra step for us folks that are using exposed. Done. I'm going to wipe the cache and Dalvik. And now we just reboot the system. Uh, and this screen will ask you to install SuperSU. Uh, say no. We don't want to install that as we have our systemless root. And now we wait for our phone to boot up. So that's it for this video guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it worked out for you. Uh, this will allow you to update to the latest factory images, um, especially security updates and all that. Uh, every month, you can follow the same one, but every month I'll be making a video anyway, uh, just to see if there's any uh, new ways of doing it. I'm sure there is another way, without flashing all the images um, individually, but um, yeah, I'll have to look into that and maybe repatch it but I like doing things the manual way just to just so you can see what went wrong if anything did went wrong uh, go wrong so right now our phone's just gonna boot up it might boot loop a couple times uh, as per installation instructions for the Super SU beta uh, so you might see this flash up a couple times and ask you to put in your uh, password passcode or pattern to decrypt to go uh, log into Android so while that's going uh, thank you guys for watching, and if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the more info. And if you'd like to see any other videos regarding the Nexus 6P, uh, anything really, um, please feel free to leave a comment down below. So, enter your pattern, and also like this video if it helped you. Um, and also subscribe if you'd like to see more of these, especially monthly updates, and uh, anything else that may be Android related. Also, hopefully a review on the Pebble smartwatch here and of course the Nexus 6P itself. So you can see here it's just going through a boot loop here. Uh, don't worry about it, one or two of them will happen. And yeah, you'll see your phone on the other side. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one.